when you think everything is going to be downhill from now on, and then you find out, no, oh, no, it's not. I had this um, small blob of diodes here that I kind of forgot about. <laughs> so I didn't put them in. I put them in loosely in a in a glob here, and I I built. I tried to build a a piece to hold them, and I built it wrong, incorrectly, and I just didn't feel like taking it apart. So I built another one and made it neater and a little a little more serviceable. In any case. Um, we still have the um, the diodes rectifying the voltage, and I'm sending positive and negative to the relay, and I'm including a capacitor to limit the voltage because I'm sending five, six, maybe seven volts to the board, but the, uh, the relay doesn't like seven. It bounces, and it can arc, and it can wear out. So... I put a capacitor in there to act as a shock absorber for that voltage to that switch. Right now we're at low speed, and I know it's cycling like that, and we all think, well, that's a drag in the drive system somewhere. You probably have a tight cam, but I had it apart, and I rotated it freely, uh, and I thought I had it pretty well tuned up. Now, a lot of parts have been on and off, so it's possible it's gotten out of adjustment and I will go back and look at it. But in any case, it is, that's what that is. And what I wanted to make sure I pointed out to you guys is that this board ends right here. It ends early. You see that. Now, it's possible I could trim all of this back uh, because then we would be able to tidy all this up and, it, and the little holder thingies would be able to slide down and, and go on the engine. However, don't forget, we still have our sound system that we have to put on, so we have to come up with that. Now, this thing will speed up. I have a cough drop. That's 60. I'm disappointed with the fan. I think what I need is a longer duration in the cam, so I'm going to be getting a different uh, profile, and that's going to come apart, so that'll be another time to look at it. And the sound system, with a longer duration on the chuff as well as the uh, piece, the, the puff and the sound, that'll give them more time to process the signal. But as you can see, at 90, we have chuffing and smoking to a degree. Now it breaks down. The sound system breaks down. Or the points... Well, I can't see the, the relay... The, the, Limit switch isn't breaking down because this one is still puffing out, see? It's the sound system that can't take the restart call as quickly. Coming into the station. Going to unload passengers. You dog. There it goes. Um, idle smoke. Oh boy. I had to put a heat sink on that. And that son of, that son of a gun's hot too. Ah! Pulling heat out of that chip because I would have this voltage to the heater would go to zero, and that happens when this chip gets overheated. It just shuts off. No, nope, you're not using me right now. I'm too hot. So, notice now, volts are a little high, but not too bad. When we add more air, supposedly, with the puffing, we have more air, the voltage will tend to creep up just a little bit. As I go faster, they actually creep up a lot, and that's to maintain the smoke temperature. Looks like it's camping out at 5 no matter what, 5 volts. That may be. 
I may need to bring it up a little more, I don't know. And then as we slow down, the voltage is, because now that less air is blowing, the heater is going to get hotter, and that's going to tell the sensor, hey, I'm getting a little hot in here. You pull back on that furnace. So he's going to pull back on the voltage coming in. It pulls back the voltage by sending it over here and letting it go out and heat through the chip's uh, ground system. That's what that fan is like, or that fin is sort of grounding out. So you'll, it may fluctuate between 560 and, I mean 460 and 470 just to maintain the, the smoke that we have. I might be low on smoke too. I haven't run this in quite some time. The beauty I have right now is this tiny little PC board is just 